Avtron AV850 encoder installation. The AV850 encoder fits AC and DC motors with an 8.5 inch FC accessory flange. Both end of shaft and through shaft motor mountings are accommodated. For this demonstration, we will be installing the through shaft rotor style. The AV850 encoder consists of three or four parts a rotor, a stator housing, and one or two removable sensor modules. It may also include a magnetic shield and stub shaft kit, depending on the motor mount. If more than two independent outputs are required, AV850 encoders may be stacked using special shaft adapters, shown in the instruction manual. The best part of the AV850 installation is that it has no gapping, adjustments, or shimming. Installs in minutes last for decades. Installation of an AV850 encoder requires stub shaft preparation, rotor installation, sensor installation, and stator housing installation. Installation hardware shown in the manual and pictured here is required. For this video, we will be demonstrating installation of the AV850 universal rotor and stub shaft system. This system fits GECD DC frame motors as well as Emerson and Baldor DC motors with identical mounting systems. This system permits the use of the same rotor on all motors, regardless of motor size or encoder resolution. If the motor already has a built-in stub shaft, follow these same steps, including alignment and truing of the stub shaft. Prior to installation, clean and remove paint and burrs from the motor shaft and mounting face. Stub shaft preparation. Dry fit the parts first without thread locker to check fit and to eliminate wobble and run out of the stub shaft. Begin by tapping the locking pin included into the motor shaft. Larger motor adapters use two bolts and no locking pin. Fit the stub shaft over the motor shaft. Firmly tighten the bolt or bolts in place using a hex key wrench, but do not use thread locker at this time. Now use the dial indicator gauge to check for runout and wobble. The AV850 will operate even with a large amount of runout, but Avtron recommends runout be less than 4 mils or one tenth of a millimeter for best performance. If stub shaft runout is excessive, use a pencil to mark the high side. Now, using either a dead blow hammer or by adding shimming under the mounting surface of the shaft, true the shaft. Measure again with the dial indicator to verify the shaft is true. Remove the stub shaft bolt, apply thread locker, and reinstall the bolt. Optional magnetic shield installation. With many older large motors, the motor shaft or motor face can be magnetized. This can affect magnetic encoder accuracy. To maximize accuracy, even on heavily magnetized motors, Avtron includes a magnetic shield kit with AV850 encoders sized for end of shaft mounting on large frame motors. If a shield was included in your AV850 kit, simply use the double stick tape to attach it to the motor face. Now proceed to rotor installation. Rotor installation. To start the installation, clean and remove paint and burrs from the motor shaft and mounting face. After cleaning, apply anti-seize compound to the shaft and mounting face. Do not use silicone sealants or caulk of any kind on the motor C face. These can cause misalignment and scraping. For this installation, we are showing installation of the universal cam screw rotor style with Avtron stub shaft. Slide the rotor on the shaft with the cam screws facing away from the motor. Ensure the label marked this side out is facing away from the motor. The space between the mounting face and the magnetic rotor strip must be set to 0.584 inches, 14.8 millimeters, plus or minus one tenth of an inch, 2.54 millimeters. This is where the rotor gauge can be used to space the rotor from the C face. Use a T-handle hex wrench or torque wrench with hex bit to tighten the cam screws to 9 to 10 foot-pounds. Turn each screw in the direction indicated. The cam screw will turn less than one full turn and engage the shaft. Use the finger holes to keep the rotor from turning. Be sure to tighten both cam screws. Stator housing installation. Carefully move the stator housing into position. Avoid contact with the rotor. 
the sensor should pass cleanly over the rotor. With the AV850 large gap technology, the sensors can be installed in the housing before sensor housing installation. In this video, a sensor has already been installed in the housing using the hardware supplied. Do not force the housing into place. Install the four mounting bolts, torque 30 to 35 foot-pounds. If the encoder will be exposed to water spray, the bottom one quarter inch pipe plug should be removed to provide a drainage path. The AV850 rotor position can now be checked. Remove a sensor cover plate or sensor. Check to ensure the brown magnetic strip is aligned with the grooves cut in the housing. Install the cover plate or sensor. Tighten the four screws. Be sure to use the included lock washers. AV850 installation is now complete. Power up the AV850. The green light should illuminate, indicating the rotor is properly positioned and the self-tuning electronics are ready to output high quality signals. Turn the shaft and ensure the light remains green. The AV850 is now installed properly and is ready to output signals to your PLC or drive for years of trouble-free service. If an oscilloscope is used to test the encoder, the signal should look roughly as shown here, without large variations in the signal. These signals were taken at steady speed. This concludes AV850 installations.